the Abrams tank is powerful and is designed to do one thing, which is attack and destroy the enemy. The Sledgehammer Brigade received some new, state-of-the-art heavy metal recently, 58 Abrams M1A2 SEP version 2 main battle tanks, otherwise known as Hunter Killers. The first order of business, make sure everything is accounted for. What we're doing is we're doing our BII, basic initial issue, checking to make sure everything is serviceable, and then uh, we're going to do some 10 level PMCS, make sure the tanks are good to go, ready to run, make sure there's no faults and things, and the tanks are going to operate properly once we go to gunnery. The new Abrams have the latest and greatest digital technologies, giving our tankers better situational awareness and faster response time. The new digital package with the independent commander site allows, as a tank crew, to be a force multiplier within ourselves. So what used to take a, a scout team or a Bradley team to be out in front of a tank, we can now do internally, which allows us to cover more area. And my tanks can be farther apart now because I can cover one side while the gunner's covering the other. And with a push of a button, I can select and acquisition a target for my gunner and he can be instantly put on target. They also sport the brand new Common Remotely Operated Weapon Station, or CROWS, which provides added safety and more lethality on the battlefield. This is the first V2 that is equipped with a CROWS station. It allows the tank commander to shoot a 50 caliber weapon uh, under the protected mode with his hatch. Uh, fully enclosed, he has 360 degree visibility, he's got a laser that will allow him to go out and pick targets before he had to be in the open position and expose himself to enemy fire. The next order of business is to get these tank crews trained up and back in the saddle again. When later this month, they'll roll these bad boys out to the new digital multi-purpose range complex, start maneuvering and lighting up targets. They will start a two-month training process going step-by-step, step, position by position within the tank. They will cover all aspects of maintenance and functionality of the tank with us in a very deliberate pattern. From there, we will transition over into a gunnery and we will actually get our first full-fire gunnery with our tank system. This is a, an outstanding main battle tank. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.